Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of March the 11th through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Libra. First up, we have the Queen of Swords in the upright, followed then by the King of Pentacles upright. And next we have the Page of Wands in reverse, followed then by the Eight of Wands upright. And lastly, we have the Ace of Wands in the upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Libra, for your overall energy, you have that of the Queen of Swords. Look at you coming up in your own reading in the upright <laughs> for your overall energy. That's wonderful. You're on the right track. <laughs> um, the Queen of Swords, the, or you could be dealing maybe with another air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or uh, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male and female. You could be dealing with um, just uh, clarifying conversations <laughs> The Queen of Swords, this is you. I feel strongly that this is probably just you, your energy this week, Libra. You're sort of standing in your truth. You're speaking. Uh, you're just telling it like it is. And you're leaving emotions out of it. Whatever it is you're dealing with that's important to you this week, whether it be a work situation, a uh, hobby, a family uh, situation, or relationship, you're standing in your truth this week. You're standing up and you're being the the strong Libra that uh, you can be. So there you go. You are standing in your truth. You're having clarifying conversations with the people that you most need to this week. So that's good. Now, coming right off the hop, we have the energies of the King of Pentacles in the upright position. This is another core card, but this time we're dealing with Earth energy, that of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Now the King of Pentacles in the upright position this is a person, this could be representing your boss or somebody in a position of authority uh, for some of you. Or it could even be dealing with a financial advisor, a banker, or someone dealing in finances, even a real estate agent. Maybe some of you are dealing with that at the beginning of the week. But this person is in the upright and they're doing... Um, they're doing right by you. Let's just say that. If this is, if you're looking to obtain maybe, say, a loan and, you know, you're dealing with the bank manager, chances are this person is going to uh, help you in any way they possibly can. If you're dealing with a financial advisor, this person is sort of bringing your finances back on track. This could even be you uh, embodying the energies of the king of pentacles in the upright where you're just sort of taking stock of your finances and bringing everything into you know proper control so very good energy coming into the week it's paired up with the page of uh, wands now in the reverse position the page of wands this is um now fire energy because it's court card so it could be representing an aries uh leo or sagittarius sun moon or rising male or female it's funny because um the Libra card came up in, I think, the Leo and the Aries uh, readings. So, could be some of you are dealing with a fire sign. If that's the situation, could be that you're not hearing from this person. The Page of Wands in the upright position. This is where exciting news or message we've been waiting on for a while, or even a parcel, we're waiting for it to come in, and here it is, and we're quite thrilled about it. When the card is inverted, however, it could be that you've been expecting communication from this person, this person is not communicating, or it could be that uh, you were expecting a, a parcel in the mail or you were expecting something to happen. Again, remember, uh, Mercury is retrograde, so a lot of the cards are coming up like in, in all the signs, uh, delays and so forth. This could just be a delay in the message coming towards you or the news or the package coming towards you. Um, yeah, at the beginning of the week. So now moving on towards the weekend, it looks like things um, vamp up a little bit because now you have the Eight of Wands in the upright position. This represents a lot of communication. It can represent too some sudden travel. Uh, the arrows of love find their mark. It could be if you, you're on the dating site, say, for example, you could be getting a lot of, you know, hits on your page and that kind of thing. You could be just, uh, if you're working, say, uh, for yourself, maybe you're getting a lot of interest from clients. Perhaps they're uh, putting in a lot of orders. Or it could be that if you're putting your resume out there, maybe there's a lot of people messaging you about your resume and, you know, offering you positions or job interviews or something like that. 
So, uh, very good. And it's paired up with the last card you have here, the Ace of Wands in the upright position. This is something passionate, new, a new beginning in a certain area of your life that brings passion. If you've lost passion, say in a relationship, it could be a passion's coming back. For others of you, maybe you're feeling very passionate because you got a passionate offer from um, some new individual and they're offering you something that's very exciting and new. But remember, keep in mind, wands also represent travel. Travel, and this can be a passionate new beginning in travel. Like I said, the Eight of Wands is here preceding it, so it could be representing sudden travel. Maybe you have the opportunity now to go somewhere and it just sort of came out of the blue. For others of you, this could be a really awesome new idea that just comes to you out of the anti-cosmos and you're just taking that ball and running with it. <laughs> Terrific uh, way to end the week here. It's actually a pretty good reading, uh, Libra. So I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.